Hello, welcome to the Squirrel Tail. Today, I'm going to show you, on the part three of the heat treatment video, I'm going to show you how to heat treat a spring. Now, the material we are using is 1070 steel. This is, this particular piece was bought at Dixon's Muzzleloading Shop. You can get it there. I know Dixie Gunworks has a site for it, and it's like $5 for a big piece which would do multiple springs for muzzle loaders there's a lot of different um, types of springs you would make you have main springs like this um, frizzen springs and also uh, a sear spring you can see that there and these all need to be heat treated properly um and then you also have springs used to open patch boxes like that one there which is um what i made here and what I'm going to do the video, and what I'm going to heat treat in the video, it's a simple spring that goes like that with a screw hole to basically pop open the lid of your patch box. So, this steel is an oil quench steel. Um, so, I'm first going to quench it in oil. Dim the lights a little bit. So I just want to get it to a nice cherry red. and punch in your oil. And then it's quenched. So I'm then gonna clean it off. And and got it cleaned off. 
Now, get the lights back on. Um, then I'm going to do a little bit better job at degreasing it with some rubbing alcohol. I know I'm using rubbing alcohol and toilet paper at this time. Kind of sound crazy. And I'm going to really make sure it's clean by like lightly sanding it. But unlike when I did the tempering in the last time, so now the steel's hard, I don't necessarily have to get a polish on it. I just got to get all the oil off it. So now I'm ready to temper. And to temper... I had this is a trick I've read for this steel because you want a hot temper like around 700 degrees. The trick is to use molten lead. And So I got a pot, pot of molten lead right there, and easiest way to do this is to take my spring and take a hook. And it's a real easy temper. I take this and submerge it in the lead for about probably 20 seconds until it falls out and or until I drop it, which I did right there and then there see in the pot a little better and then I'm gonna let it air cool carefully and unplug the lead now a note I had the lead by the window I have a window open so I do have good ventilation so I'm not breathing in lead fumes. So after the lead cools After or after the part cools, just take some sandpaper and remove any debris and polish it up a little bit. Ah, shit. And as you can see, it acts like a spring now. A little stiff, but you know, I can tap at it and.
yeah, functions like a spring's supposed to. So, that's an easy method for um, hardening and tempering a spring. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more great content. And check out our Instagram page at, at Squirrel Tail Show.